a round two game between visiting CLS Knights from Indonesia. We look on the crowd bursting their way through the seams here at the OCBC Arena. In the hometown of the Singapore Slingers here at the OCBC Arena, the Lion City of Singapore. Chuck Schreiner, Marco Benitez with you. Confirmation of our first game today. Singapore Slingers going against the CLS Knights, the new team in the league. Well, Indonesia not really new in the league. They have been around, but after a two or three year hiatus, here they are back and them getting ready to tip off here a first home game season for the slingers now these teams coming off of two very different games and first season were successful in pummeling for most of dreamers 94 63. so good for the slingers as they went down to defeat in a team with china 83 59 the kung fu team and justin howard getting a measure of revenge as we look at some other fans are loaded with foreign and domestic players and this ought really to be a great game as we get ready for the tip off crowd as we said still slipping in here to the arena and uh we're going to look at uh some of the slingers right there there is right he is the first import here signed this season taking the place of justin howard who as we said went to china to apply his trade the 37 year old what a two year spell he had in singapore but it is the right era right now and he uh, started off the season well enough, 26 points, as we look at a full view of the Singapore OCBC Arena. They are the Knights there in blue in their huddle. There is Lish there. You might have known him as Freddie Kostein. He uh, is already making his mark felt for this team, averaging uh, 14 points and eight rebounds. As they are getting some last minute disruption by this colorful in their traditional batik shirts. So to be the and we'll have the of the team here in just a minute. So Marco, a good looking uh, start to the season here for these uh, hometown singers. Great looking crowd on hand. Yes, it's great to be here, Chuck, and we to see this Finally, a debut here at the OCP Arena. It's a purpose built team. We'll see there in the introduction of KLS or CLS team and Freddie Lish. Get, again, we know him as Freddie Goldstein, 5'10", 160 pounds. He is a dual now, 29 years of age. Mario Wysong, 568-pound guard. William Cruz, by the way, a little bit later. There's Mura Wisnu, Sandy Kurnayaman, Rajman Utomo, Arapadiat, and company. And introducing the rest of this team, there is number 24, Mohamed Saroni, 6'6 to 25 uh, center, 21 years of age. Brian Williams, a 6'10 center, 276 pounds, a 30 year old. Got 13 points last week against Ramosa, six boards and six assists. And by the way, Evan Brock, number two, the 6'10 center, he has been brought in to replace William Duke Cruz, who again hurt himself last week. So filling in the roster space for the CLS night. The other side of the ball, Singapore Slingers. Rapturous applause they get, and with good reason, the Slingers have made the finals in the ADL. Trying to take that one step further this year with a lot of familiar names that Singapore can cheer for. Desmond O, he will not be starting today. Defensive specialist, 5'8", 169 pounds, 31 years of age, eight years in the league. By the way, this is the ninth season of the ADL. There is Loon right there, one of the younger players. And Singapore continues to blossom into a basketball town. More of the role players being introduced for the Singapore Slingers. Larry Liu, number 11, 6'3", 183 pounds, guard forward, he's 24 years of age. There is Ung there, he, they're expecting big things from him this year, shooting guard. Kelvin Lim, 22, the 6'3 forward, only 21 years of age. So Singapore hoping to get some of their younger players a taste of the action. Russell Lowe, they're expecting a lot of big things from Russell, but the 
loss of Justin Howard, 6'6", 231 pounds, only 24 years old. His uh, footwork down in the low post, much better. This is a guy brought in to take the place of Howard Ryan Wright. He had 26 points last week in the losing effort against China. 6'9", jumping jack, 30 years of age, a Canadian. And there from the Philippines, A.J. Landini, he will be running the point guard position, 5'11", 185 pounds, 30-year-old, had three points last week in that losing effort. And there's a man coming back for his third time, Xavier Alexander, 6'5", 210 pounds, 29 years of age, 14 points, seven assists, and uh, eight rebounds last week. Mitchell Folkoff, he's back on the team after an injury last year, 5'8", he'll be starting guard. Delvin Go. So that is your starting five and your remaining players for the Singapore Series. We said they've made the finals the last two years in a row. They are lining up to play the CLS Knights. What a game this should be. So shaking hands. We're just a few minutes away from the tip off today at the arena. So we will go into the starting fives. Uh, we mentioned the whole team, so let's check out the starting fives from CLS here. Slingers in their traditional red and white uniforms. As we look at the starting five for these Knights. There they are right there, Freddie Lish, you know him as Freddie Goldstein, Mario Wysong, Brian Williams, Sandy Kurniawan, and Evan Brock, who we said came in to replace the hurt William Cruz. So the starting five for the CLS Knights, and uh, we'll talk more about them later. A loaded team. They've got some locals that can really fill it up as well. Singapore Singers, some familiar names that you will know. A.J. Mondani, he comes from the Philippines. Again, brought in to run the offense. Folkoff, Alexander, right and go. So we uh, talked about the league a little bit before the start of the season. And I'll tell you what, the ninth year of the ABL season, and it promises to be the most competitive yet. We have nine teams in the league as we look a little bit of the Lion City, and we'll be talking to some of the Singapore Singers teammates and finding out what their thoughts are on the Welcome 2017 to this season Basketball now. League. The ABL has grown in the past three years that I've been here. I think it's developing more and more and more into a basketball country. I'm very excited uh, to play for the Singapore Slingers. I think this season is, is one of the strongest. They're definitely working towards reaching the finals and winning the finals.
miss or off a bake. Falkoff swings it over to the right. Mondernay looking for movement. He doesn't get it. Up comes the screen. Right throws that. He'll roll off of that. Mondernay looking inside. Good defense. Nice recovery inside. Right bumping and grinding inside. And he is fouled. Slightly different look here for the Slingers, Chuck. Uh, you see Alexander playing more inside the paint. Wright likes to play hang around in that 15-foot area, which he is very effective at. Another look at it right there. Alexander be forced into a role as the number four. We talked about that a little bit before the game. Uh, a position that's not altogether unfamiliar with him, but they would rather have him slash and burn inside. Mm -hmm. Shot from punch back outside. Volkov picks it up. Right hand dribble. Delvin Go tries to go baseline. He's cut off. Back outside to Alexander. Nice screen thrown by Go. He goes off of that. That's a good start for Alexander. Got to get him confidence on the outside. He was about, he only made five field goals in that last game. So quick 6 0 lead for the Slingers. Back come Indonesia. Stutter step inside. No look pass. Round they swing it. Williams head down. Rolls to the basket. Up and in. That's going to be a tough matchup for Delvin Go. Has to really move his feet and put a body on Brian Williams. Long pass downstairs again. You can see, look like Brock fronting that time on. Ryan Wright, they couldn't get the ball over his head. They're not in the wingspan of these interior players of Indonesia. Nice idea from Xavier Alexander. He has the height advantage against Freddie Lish. Falkoff. Alexander, post up move. Long cross for pass. Mond and I have a hot hand with it earlier. Off the mark up and running off. Quickly back comes Indonesia. Nice job on the run. Spotting up and stepping in the lane. Active hands is Alexander right where he likes to be. Splitting in the lane. Off the uh, pass, up in there, no foul. Great play by Alexander. Good decision there by Alexander. Almost getting the interception there. Sandy again rotates the ball up to the top to Evans. Evans off to Woysang, who rotates the ball. Williams, oh, yes, beautiful step that time. Getting around Del Vigo, the drop step. And let's see, the cleaners. let's see if Coach Neal sends a little bit more help there for uh, Delvin Go. Delvin Go has made a lot of strides in his footwork downstairs, but Williams just ate his lunch that time. Go with the ball now, Hanley. Rotates the ball inside Alexander. Nice stop by Alexander, getting behind his defender. And the Indonesian uh, defense that time getting uh, caught ball watching that time. That's great execution there. Great entry pass coming from right. Inside it goes, foul, and that will go on right. A little mismatch he's got in there. I see the versatility of the world imports for CLS. Both guys can play down low. And uh, Evan Brock can also attack from the outside. Saw an example of that right there. So back outside it goes. Williams running the point. He'll slash inside now. Goes to the high block. Right with the double team. What a mismatch you've got there. And again, eating them up alive. Yeah, right yeah, around yeah. Volkov. Delvin Go coming over the weak side help a little bit too late. And that is what Mario Wusan gives you. He's a master of using that pick and roll. Finding that open man that time. That was Brian Williams. Easy two points. Watch it again on the previous play. There's Alexander. So Xavier Alexander with four early points for Singapore. Make that six. Free throw to complete the three-point play. So a 10-6 game now. Slingers up by four, 5.45 to go here. You know, Wuisang had seven assists, Chuck, in that last game. So despite just having three points, was able to play make a lot. And this is what they like to do. They like to put a lot of pressure on the backcourt. Mandani yo-yoing down the right-hand side. He's got Alexander in front of him. Right pops up. Alexander dancing in the lane there. Back out top is Russell Lowe. They find Lowe. Lowe can hit from there. Shot will be a two if it goes. It does not rise. And tapping the ball away is right. Out of bounds it goes. It'll be Indonesia ball. So right, instead of grabbing on, just sort of tapped it. He was last touched by him. So error of omission there. Not really a turnover. Well, that, that shot for Russell Lowe is going to be open practically the entire afternoon. If they're going to be doubling Xavier, Xavier Alexander. Low right now again. Oh, Evan Brown going right around him. And we talked at the beginning of the game, the experience that these Indonesian bigs have over Singapore, pretty much neophytes when it comes uh, to patrolling their positions right now. They're, they're getting chewed up a little bit at the moment. And you see the explosiveness of Evan Brock off the dribble. Tiki-tack foul there on number five, B. Woysong. Holding on just slightly, so referees calling things very closely now a timeout on the bench it looked like that timeout will go the way of the night so so far Mar uh, marco uh, 
going sort of the way we thought it would because Indonesia establishing themselves down low, but a little bit surprising that Indonesia the big doing it off the dribble. And that is correct, and they're trying to exploit their advantage. They feel they have to put this advantage against the bigs of Singapore. What I like about Singapore is they've given Indonesia a couple of different looks. They went with Alexander in the post last time. They went with him off the off the weave from the perimeter. So a good start here for Singapore. Mid-range jumper, uh, jumpers are hitting the mark for the singers, as we said. Alexander leading the way with six points right with a pair. Mangani with a pair too. And uh, I think uh, very, very important for AJ Mangani to take this team over, take them under his wing. He's got a wealth of experience. I know he has been in the game for a little while. He bounced around a little bit, but that is an advantage in way. You've seen a lot of teams who've been in different situations before. And we're hoping that Mangani is the guy that can get this team rolling, sort of like Chris Rosales did a few years ago. You remember the success that they had with him running the point. That is correct. And, you know, the confidence Coach Neo is giving to him starting out at the point guard spot what i like also about the slingers is they only have a turnover here to start the ball game out so not a lot of opportunities for indonesia to really get out on the break so far the freddie lish show has yet to go on track he missed his first couple of shots so other guys stepping it up but really getting the ball through the bigs that has been the name of the game for the knights early on and time in the 459 mark Chuck Schreiner along with Marco Benitez. So happy he's been, been part of the Sunday afternoon yeah, yeah. here. ABL basketball, the opening game here at the OCBC Arena for the Slingers, who are 0-1, going against the 1-0 CLS Knights from Indonesia. A foul holding on again. And Alexander find the mismatch there against Lish right away. And looks like they're going to try to attack that uh, mismatch. And if they can get Freddie Lish into foul trouble, that's going to be a big boost here for Singapore. Alexander to right, back to Alexander. Looking for the screen, doesn't get it. He pops back out in the lane, is low. Finding Mononite, not side, in and out it goes. Reaching up for it and coming down with it, one and out. And pushing the ball is Brock. Brock the list on the, looked like the Euro step there for a moment, but not able to finish it off. Foul from behind, that'll send Lish to the line as we watch it again. Well, there you see the dilemma there. E. Evan Brock being the one to start out the break, and then uh, Freddie Lish running on the wing. So Lish slash Goldstein at the line, as we said, 14 points in that winning effort the other night against Formosa. Misses the first one there. A veteran of this league. He's also played in Thailand. Had a cup of coffee with Malaysia as well. So his third team, 0 for 2, stepping in the lane and getting it is Coach uh, Coco looking on there. All of Indonesia's points coming from inside the paint shot. So Alexander on the rotation. No high screens being thrown yet inside the lane. Rotation now to the left. Volkov inside, right. Hesitation, we call that jumper is way off the mark. And that uh, Evan Brock was right in his pocket. Good rotation, baseline move, kick back outside. And still looking for their first shot, but getting the fair of the tip back up the lead by Williams that time. And then again, uh, they have to get good inside position there by uh, Brian Williams. So the Knights, their first lead of the afternoon. 11 10, Volkov trying to be creative inside. Luckily, the ball falling right back in his lap. Right has that shot if he wants it. Little turnaround move, the reverse inside, and foul. Williams asking for a traveling, yeah. but that was a good move there from Ryan Wright. You said Wright likes to wheel and deal. He doesn't like to be guarded up close. Watch this. He will never, never go straight to the rack. He does have those moves. Got a quick first step. He can jump out of the gym. I think on YouTube they've even got they've got a, a best of dunk uh, sequence by uh, Wright. Uh, different localities that he's been in through the years. 30 years of age, the Canadian. And this is the first of two. And if I'm not mistaken, he had about uh, three dunks against uh, Chong Son Kung Fu whenever they found him inside the paint. Good look at the 30-year-old. They brought in here to uh, make the team a little bit more athletic. The departure of Justin Howard, who had a big game against these same singers the other night on the 17, 15 points, 14 boards inside. Look off the mark. Nice play by Wright to cut off the pack to the basket. Alexander pushing it, pushing it. Out of bounds it goes. Last touch by Fu. Disagreement by the referees and the referee who really was not in the position to make that call gets the last word. So Singapore will have the ball. Let's watch it again, Marco. There's voice I'm trying to get that deflection. Whoa, I don't know. Oh, it looks like they had an argument there. 
So the near ref does not get the call there. Overruled. So Alexander from the baseline. Pop up pass. Back up jumper. Whale short by right. My goodness. Baby that one. So right side looking for movement. They kick it back outside. He's got Williams lurking on the left-hand side. A little spin move around one screen. And the game now is number 11 for Singapore. That is Larry Liu. Oh, nice passing sequence inside to Goldstein or Leash running the baseline. Great back cut there from Freddie Leash. Uh, right not really in his comfort zone guarding the perimeter. So now right on the outside gets the ball inside, getting the contact on Williams. Not a bad strategy there yep. by Alexander. He does have great control in the air, so worth a shot. And you know, the great isolation there between the two bigs. Uh, they found Alexander on that left block. That, that mismatch is going to be available to them. Under three minutes to go here at the OCBC Arena. We've got a good one. 13-10 in favor of the Knights over the Singapore Singers. Their first home game of the year. 0 of 1. Both these teams shooting in the mid-70s in their initial game. Singapore usually a little bit... Uh, even a little bit left to be desired in the free throw shooting aspect of their game last year, averaging right around 67, 68 percent. Alexander, one of two, so they get to within the bucket. Alexander averaging about 60 percent from the free throw strike, so splits that one. New faces on the floor here for Indonesia. So we'll get those names to you just as soon as we ascertain the numbers here as they've got the ball, left hand dribble. Liu working on him is number five, Mario Wasson. Little hesitation move. Catch and shoot that left hand side off the mark again, holding from behind one of the guys we were talking about. They just checked into the game. I believe that's number 16, Negroho. So Negroho, Furman Negroho, the 6'8 forward center, 27 years of age. He had a pair of points last week against Formosa, so back down the other end we go. Good, good inside position from Russell Lowe there, and uh, Indonesia in the penalty already, so every time down the floor, it's going to be a chance to get to the free throw stripe here for the Slingers. Slingers play the vast majority of their first few games away. Their next home game, December 10th. Here is a colorful coach for the CLS Knights right there. Coco asked him what, to, what he wanted me to call him in the interview. He says, yeah, Coach Coco, his full name, Coco Hiru Setio Negrojo. Coco, backup jumper, left-hander. Can't get it to fall. Rebound, skying for it is on. He's just checked into the game. Alexander, first shot on the left. Russell Lowe comes up for the high post. Swing the ball over, dancing through the middle is Alexander. Alexander with the ball now, Alexander. And a foul inside, and Alexander causing all sorts of havoc in the middle there. They put a new guy on him. This was a Gamilang. He was the player of the game for the week for, for the CLS Knights. A little bigger than uh, Freddy Lish tried to back tap there. Came along 14 points off the bench last week, six foot forward. 26 years of age. Coach Neo and Michael Johnson looking on rather pensively, especially Coach Johnston. And Alexander at the line again for the second straight possession. And this is already the sixth trip to the free throw stripe for the Slingers. Mm. You've got to convert these free throws and see how important that is, especially in a game like this promises yes. to be back and forth. You've got to strike when the, you get the freebies. Right now, they're just one out of six from the charity stripe. Make that two of seven. So, Flingers creeped it within a point. Mario. On him is Larry Liu. Going around one screen, picking it back outside again. Long three is off the mark again, and still Indonesia coming up with nothing from the perimeter, Marco. That's Long. a great forward pass there. Beautiful pass. A little bit of laziness. Not getting back on defense, allowing Wright to sneak in back of his defender and to make matters worse he fouls so and you that's compound some, your mistake that's something right did against uh chong son kung fu he really ran the floor really well and Xavier alexander doing well to find him on the break and that's not going to do it from otomo just putting your hands up with your back turned to the play mm -hmm. short 
Ball controlled by Lowe inside, and he's fouled. Another trip to the charity stripe here for Russell Lowe. Foul will go on Utomo again. That will be two on him. So Singapore able to slow the clock down and get trips to the line. And as we said before, matter can they convert? Russell Lowe was 0 for 2 the last trip down to the free throw stripe. Few faces on the floor once again here for Indonesia. So Co Coach Coco really shuffling his men. Number 27, Bima Ardiansaw checking in the game now. Another six foot forward. He was their energy guy off the bench uh, against Formosa. He scored five points in a hurry. I believe that was in the second quarter. Right. Ripped down four boards on top of that. So Russell finally breaking through for the Slingers, who now control the three-point lead with under a minute to go here in the first quarter. It's been a good one, as we would expect. Again, Marco Benitez, Josh Reiner, so happy you could spend part of your time with us on this Sunday afternoon. Home opener for the Singapore Slingers. We look at Coach Nyo on the timeout now for the CLS Knights. And uh, just uh, surmising, Marco, what do you suppose Coach Coco is talking to his players about now? Well, I think uh, Coach Coco is going to try tell his players to try to keep pushing the ball, try to get opportunities in transition. He's going to tell them that the, eventually their three-pointers are going to go in. They're 0 for 7 right now. Singapore so far, I feel, is dictating the pace of the game. Singapore having a lot of success, especially with Alexander slashing and burning to the basket. We're uh, sort of forcing the Knights to either let him go through or foul him, and that's a no-brainer there. You're going to you're not, you can't just let them have a free path to the basket. So we talk about how guys like Alexander and Wright could be the difference on the inside, although the beef is all on the other side of the court. But uh, a little bit of the speed off the ball especially belongs to the Slingers, at least so far in the first quarter. And uh, the Slingers also are going to have to get a lot more support from, the, from their local guys, especially because that kick out off the double team on Alexander is going to be available for them the entire afternoon. So Singapore hitting their perimeter shots, not so much for the Knights. The Knights have done their damage so far uh, off the dribble with their bigs, being able to roll to the basket, using their footwork against the neophytes inside, especially uh, number 23, Delvin Go. He was victimized a couple times, but also Falkoff as well. So Indonesia with the ball coming at you from left to right in the purple and gray uniforms. Liu, Alexander doubling. Let's see what we have grabbing on. Will that go on Alexander or Liu? It's going to be on Larry. And I was about to say that was a good double team there coming from Xavier Alexander. Alexander Wuisang did not have much to work with, but there was a foul there on Liu. Yeah, I don't think he even saw the X-Man coming. So now Singapore in the penalty in the last minute 37. Singapore already with seven fast break points, Chuck, compared to zero for, for CLS. So it shows you that uh, they've been able to get out on the break. Well, that was Singapore's goal at the, in, the, in between the season. That was one of the reasons why they did not bring back Justin Howard. They wanted to get a little bit more That's athletic correct. and take advantage of their perceived strengths Blair's getting into the open court. As a player hits the floor, that's Cerrone. Valiant. Attempt to save that ball out of bounds to no avail. Alexander, left hand dribble, gets it across the line. Um, looking for a movement. Low rotates the ball over to the right side in the hands of Liu. Alexander back outside again. Right inside to Low, puts the ball on the floor, up and in. Nice little drop step by Russell Low. That's great movement, great patience there on offense from the Slingers. Russell Lowe does have the strength inside and does have superior footwork to Delvin Go. Little runner in the lane is going to be off the mark. Alexander with the rebound looking down court. Gets the ball to Liu. Who fired up from the perimeter. No good. Lowe with the rebound and a foul. And that will put Russell Lowe at the line once again. Getting good position downstairs yep. below the defense, Marco. Solid play so far from oh, Russell Lowe. I had him already for uh, two rebounds. And we saw that offensive glass, uh, offensive work there by Russell Lowe. Brock trying to come over from the weak side a little bit too late. So Russell at the line again for two. Low scoring first quarter, relatively speaking. I think we'd have mm -hmm. to say 18 points to uh, 14 and miss on the first shot by Russell. He hit both ends of the two last time. And I think importantly also, uh, the world imports of CLS already with personal fouls. 
So that might play a factor. Williams has two. Brock has a one personal foul on him. Off the dribble. Cutting through the lane and converging on the ball handle. I believe Russell Lowe will get called for that foul. Yes. So for Russell, that will be his first foul. 16 foul on Singapore. That was actually great defense there on the part of uh, Ryan Wright. Just stuck in front of Evan Brock, who kind of forced that penetration. Since that timeout, Singapore doing a much better job of uh, covering on the perimeter, closing down the penetration and, and miss there. So neither one of these teams uh, really lighten it up from the line as we dip down to under 45 seconds here in the first quarter. One of two. Hope you got a chance to look at the format, the new format. We do have nine teams. There's Coach Coco right there in his splendid-looking petite shirt. Kicked back outside by right. Rubbing off the screen there is Alexander looking downstairs. He's got Um who curls up. Russell Lowe now back outside. Um will fire up a three off the mark, one and out. Stepping into the lane is Utomo to rip down the board, back the other way. Otomo with the crossover. He's got Alexander working on him. So they're going to spread it out. 13 seconds. The shot clock is off. So they'll play for the last shot here in the first quarter. See what he can do off the dribble. There is the screen inside the lane. Back outside. Show and go. The long shot from three is going to be off the mark. And that will do it. So close first quarter. It was nice as far as getting the ball inside. Singapore has the advantage with the outside shooting at the end of one quarter here at the OCBC Arena. Slingers 18, nice 15 when we return. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. 18 15 year score. Senior four singers over the CLS Knights at the end of one quarter. And both these teams getting to where they are in different yeah. routes. Senior four singers doing it from the outside. Good ball rotation. And towards the end of the quarter, Marco Benitez getting the ball inside via the play of Xavier Alexander, but also rotating Ryan Wright inside and putting the inside bigs uh, for Indonesia a little bit off balance. That is correct. And uh, they're also doing a great job on the defensive end. Indonesia has yet to hit a three point shot. Uh, Singapore has been able to convert on their turnovers. Four points off turnovers for Singapore. Seven points on fast breaks, while uh, Indonesia has not been able to score in transition in that first quarter. Also, Indonesia not very good from the perimeter, as we said. Uh, Leish was in there. He jacked up two or three threes with to no avail. But uh, they did, however, find some success rotating their bigs downstairs. Brian Williams off the dribble a couple times against Delvin Go, And also get into the race was Evan Brock a couple of Buckets for him that way as well. Indonesia with the ball here in the purple and gray. Coming at you from left to right off the dribble. Right stepping in the lane there. Did he get a piece? Or was that Alexander? And that will be indeed on the X-Man. So he has one. 
really no slingers in foul trouble. We have five or six guys with one foul on the other side of the ball, Gilling with two. And we'll get some stats here from the first quarter just as soon as we can. Seven to 17 for the slingers, so not bad shooting from the floor. Rebound there by right. And let's see if they try to go back to Xavier Alexander with a mismatch against Wish. Yeah, just as you were saying from outside, that was on, on Ben. And anything they can get from him was, is a bonus. That's Last correct. year, he would have a few games where he would be able to be successful from the perimeter, but they're great to get him off the mark early and a totally inadvertent trip on the other side. Freddie Lish just getting his foot tangled up with the X-Man as we watch it again. Now here is the no-look pass on the other side. Ung, a little catch and shoot. And uh, really the player, I guess, Evan or Evan Brock not getting out on the shooter. He pays the price. So five-point lead for the Slingers. They try to go to the post once again against uh, Xavier Alexander. Both these teams taking care of the ball pretty well. Larry Liu with a long shot. Yes, got three. It's good. 23-15. Back-to-back outside shots here for the Singapore Slingers, forcing that timeout from Indonesia. Well, that's what the Slingers had hoped to happen. You want to loosen up the interior defense. All you got to do is start hitting some shots from outside. First on now, you have lit it up, and the Knights are going to have to reassess their defensive uh, alignment now. They're going to have to put some uh, hands in the shooter's face. That is correct, and uh, really 5-0 to zero blast here to start out the second quarter for Singapore. Just what the doctor ordered here. Nice tap out there by Ryan Wright. Liu does a left arrest with the catch and shoot. Talk about the stats in the first quarter, Marco. Both teams doing a pretty good job of taking care of the ball. Nice with two turnovers, the Slingers with only one. Well, that's really good. Uh, a good job there on the part of uh, Singapore, A.J. Mandani, Xavier Alexander, the guys who shared the, uh, the, the role, bringing the ball up the floor. And let's see if they can limit their turnovers to probably 10 or less, then that's going to be a big plus for Coach Neil Beng Shan. Slingers shooting 41.2% from the floor. The uh, Knights shooting 37.5%. But, of course, you said the statistic that uh, glares out at you is 0 of 5 from beyond the arc yes. for, the, for the Knights. So they're going to have to improve on that, and they will. I know the Knights, they're, they're a team that likes to capitalize on turnovers, had 17 turnover points against the Dreamers. So, so far now, Singapore is successful in really stifling that. Leash post up downstairs. Williams with the shot over the right shoulder is no good had the mismatch down there dancing across the lane is Alexander going east to west a good hang time and a foul what is that going to be a offensive foul on Alexander I believe so that'll be two on the X-Man tough call there great drive there from Alexander but good position on the part of Brian Williams watch it again and see if we can pick it up over from the weak side yep good call so Williams smelling that play out before it happened getting position so two on the X-Man now. A little bit of housekeeping now by the maintenance staff to get the moisture off the floor. And I like what Singapore is doing, putting a lot of pressure on the ball handler. Brock, left hand, right, swings it in and knocked away by Russell Lowe. I believe that will be two on low. And Brock has really try, uh, really been aggressive here in the first half. Once he's gotten that uh, matchup against Russell Lowe from the outside. Well, he's got that wingspan, that long first step as we saw. Remember, Brock, 6'10 center, only 220 pounds, so it's not like he's carrying a whole lot of extra weight around with him. And I think he's getting uh, Russell Lowe a little bit uh, off balance, especially since he's a lefty. Brock, 33 years of age. Had a cup of coffee with uh, the Atlanta Hawks back in 2010. University of Alabama graduated in 2006. So he misses the second. 23-16, slingers in control by seven. Alexander with the ball on the right, swings it back to right. Now on. Alexander cuts across the middle. Lish all over him. He's got Brock behind him. Ball picked off in the lane. Russell go not a or check that Delvin go not a smart pass at all. Let's see if he's made the pay. Yes, he is. And that's what you don't want to give Indonesia an open look in transition. First transition three-point shot from Sandy Kurniawan. So first long range success there for the Knights. 23-19. They trail by eight. So a little five-nothing mini run. Liu 
Alexander. Wright pops up. He'll throw the screen and roll off of that. Alexander with a long three, no good. A little bit out of his range. Williams rips down the board. Back the other way is Wisner. Now to Williams again off the dribble, no good. I don't know what that was. Delvin Go rips down the board. He runs into a wall and he's trapped, gets around it. Gets the ball past half court. Somehow, sloppy play by both these teams on that possession. My goodness, I don't know what Delvin Go was thinking about. You've got to get rid of the ball if you don't want him bringing the ball up. Lucky to get away with it and that the, time. The guards of Singapore have to do a better job coming up and then getting that ball from their big man. Can't really ask Delvin Go to bring the ball up against ball pressure from, from Indonesia. I like the guard tandem that Singapore started with, uh, A.J. Mondani and Mitch Folkoff. Now that we've not seen Desmond O yet for the Slingers yet, so Folkoff does check back into the game. The Slingers will inbound it from the near side, nursing the four-point lead. Go. Gets the ball to Alexander. Down on the low block, Williams will come over and help out there. Now he faces up, long cross-court pass, rotation down to the other side. Go turns the corner, gets the round. Evan Brock, so quick first step with yep. the left foot, no less. But that's two times that they've sent the double early on Xavier Alexander. The ball knocked away. Let's see who touched it last. Right, who could not control it. Good job by the singers to converge mm -hmm. on the ball handler. And good recognition on Alexander on that uh, other end to move the ball, skip it to the other side. And inside the lane it goes. Can't get it to go. That was with the left hand. Very awkward looking shot there. Ball in the hands of Alexander. Takes it to the house. And that is where Alexander is at his best in the open floor. Easy two points. Good recognition by Go as he takes that one extra dribble. Then he runs Alexander right behind him. He gets the ball in full stride and the rest is history. Back up jumper. There is Go Williams. And you'd rather have that uh, mid-range shot from Williams rather than him scoring from down low. Try to open up the defense for the nice wide open look. A little push shot. It's going to be well short. Looked like it slipped out of Go's hand. Now pushing the ball back up the court is Lish. Lish to Sandy. Now mismatch inside. Alexander comes over the weak side. Up rotation. This move from the left side. He's going to be off the mark. Out of bounds it goes. Last touch by Indonesia, I believe. Let's see. On the floor is Williams and not very happy, so the ball will be in the hands of the Singapore Slingers. Williams saying, no, no, I wasn't the last one to touch that ball. Mario Williams saying, not showing a lot of confidence in his outside stroke, immediately went for the offensive rebound. Another good stop here for the Slingers. So Mandani and Folkoff now manning the backcourt here for the guys in white. I think that's their strongest guard uh, tandem at the moment anyway. Mondani's already hit one shot. He has an assist as well. Rotates the ball to the right. He flashes through. Back outside to Delvin Go. Folkoff now. Alexander trying to get free and does. He's got a mismatch against Lidge. Let's see. Will overcome Brock to help out. Shot clock down to four. Folkoff for a long hanger is way off the mark. So great interior defense there by Singapore and Delvin Go steps in the lane to get it back. He's going to take it to the house by himself. Oh, yeah. 29-21 Singapore by eight. That pumps up the house there. Delvin Go, great hands, picking off the fast break and then taking it strong to the rack. And watch Wright. Wright says, no, my man, you made the play happen. You take it yourself, and he steps away. Weak side help a little bit. Too late getting there. So unselfish play there by Wright says no, take it to the house, my man, and he does. That just shows you the improvement in Delvin Goh's game. Now being able to take the ball up the floor and then finish strong emphatically against Ivan Brock. He misses the free throw shot. He was victimized at the beginning of the game. We saw a couple times by Williams on the low block, but he's more than made up for it since Leach now with the ball. And a little bit of urgency now in the step of Indonesia. Inside the ball, little hesitation move. Nice job by Lish to get away from his defender and work behind the screen. One of the few times he's been able to get that deep in the paint. Mondani backs it up again, rotates the ball to the right side. Alexander looking for movement around the screen of right. He'll roll off the bat. Long shot is off the mark, and oh my goodness, off the hands of Mara Wisnu. So check that. Off of Mario Wusang. 
Lucky break there for yeah. uh, the Slingers because that was a clear miss there on the part of Alexander. A little bit outside of his range. Sometimes he'll do that. Now right, back downstairs, post up, inside. Knocked away on the move now. They'd be wise to hold it up, and they do lift with the catch and shoot from three. Unexpected transition three there from Freddie Lish, but a big uh, short run here from the CLS Knights. Well, you can see that coming. Lish all tanked up. Watch this again. Rotation to the left side, no doubt about it. So first triple for Lish. Singapore up by three at the timeout. And, uh, you know, this is how quick a game like this can turn around. Every time Singapore looks like they might be on the verge of breaking it open a little bit. Eight-point lead a couple of times. Back come Indonesia, and this time from the perimeter. That's going to be good news. Five straight points here just from Freddie Lish alone. And uh, he was pretty much stifled in that first quarter because he was uh, being attacked inside the paint by Xavier Alexander. But because they threw the double team, forced uh, Alexander out to kick it out. A uh, little easier job on defense from Freddie Lish, giving him more chances to score on the offensive end. Singapore a little bit lazy or, or nonchalant on the offensive end, I thought. Uh, Marco, a couple of shots from outside from guys that really, that is not their strength, especially I'm thinking about Alexander. Take a little bit more time off the clock, do what is worked for you, slash and burn inside lane, get the ball to right, work in tandem with them, and then kick the ball out, and let your other guys get those outside and, shots. And uh, CLS knows that, that is what the shot that they are giving them, you see that they are just hanging back. Once it's uh, Delvin Go or Russell Lowe or even uh, Savory Alexander taking that jump shot from the outside. So 29-26 is a good look at the Singapore Slingers. Delvin Go redeemed himself. A shaky first part of the game defensively, but he has come back with a vengeance and uh, four points with one foul. Russell Lowe also four points, so that's eight points for both bigs. Remember a big boy downstairs with the loss of Howard last year, who's now plying his trade in China with one of the expansion teams. Alexander now up pops right. He'll roll off the screen. Alexander stop and pop way off the mark. Then Williams there to clean it up. So one and out for Singapore. Alexander asking for that uh, slight nudge there by uh, Mario Wusang. So opportunity now for Lish in Indonesia to draw level back outside. Coach Neil Barkin signals. Rotation and stepping in the lane and picking it off is Delvin Go again, four on three. Volkov back outside, Alexander having to reach behind his shoulders. Good rotation, Volkov again in the lane. Maldani did a good job of not being in a hurry that time, and they charged that time. Easy call there for the official. You can see right, just lower the boom. Yeah, and try to use his forearm to create space there against Evan Brock, who had good inside position. Check it out again, right? We'll get the ball and trying to take advantage of the defender who had just set himself and can't do that. So back the other way it goes. A little bit shaky uh, second quarter for Wright, who has four points and two fouls. How about Delvin Go playing that passing lane perfectly? His second pickoff of the evening. So Leash again, he's had the hot hand lately for the Knights. Goes to the right hand, loses Falkoff, almost loses the ball in the process. Go, going to have to get back home in a hurry. Stop and pop for Brock for two. And that's what you were saying, Chuck. He has to get back to his man quickly because that uh, mid-range jumper is within Brock's range. Maldani to go. Go with the left hand now. Out pops Alexander. Maldani with the rotation on the left. It's the lane. Fourth shot is no good in Singapore. Their turn to be cold. Back come the Knights on the run is right. He gives the ball off to the left-hand side, Sandy Dunkle. And that is where Sandy Kunyawan is at his best transition three-point shot, second three-pointer of the game. So they couldn't hit one the first quarter. They've hit two in a row now. Two-point lead by the Knights. Well, Donnie thought about it. Inside the lane, kick back outside, Volkov. Delvin, two if it goes, it does not. Volkov stepping in and trying to disrupt, he can't. So the Knights with the ball and the momentum now. Yep, and one thing the Knights have done well here in the second quarter is they've limited the offensive rebounds of Singapore. Another look at it from the other side. The kick to Sandy, who pounds it in from Threesville. There you see the familiarity of the Knights. Uh, Williams knew where Sandy was going to be at. Lish looking for a screen. Out pops 
Weissong inside again to Brock. Tough, tough angle. Oh, the follow is good. Oh, Brock skying with the left hand. The athleticism Williams, there of Evan Brock. Alexander turns and fires. Can't get it to go. Can't pull down his own board. And here comes Williams and Brock getting the hand up. Who else? Delvin go, but it will be Indonesian ball. They've got the four-point lead as we wind it down to the two-minute mark. Ung, excuse me, getting his hand in there to disrupt. And good job there on the part of Ung, bin, Ung Han Bin to try, try to disrupt almost easy two points there on the break for CLS. So Singapore, who led by eight a moment ago, now down by four. A 12-0 mini run here by the CLS Knights. Brock picks it off the floor, lowers his head. Rotates inside. Lish now working on Alexander. The backup jumper is no good. Go with the rebound. That's gonna, it looks like there'll be a foul on Mandani. Frustration foul there on the part of Mandani. So that will be two on him. So that will bring the ball back down the court again with 120 to go here in the second quarter and the brain trust of Indonesia have to be happy mm -hmm. right now, Marco. I mean, everything that they've been doing, it's the key, the perimeter shooting, they finally yes. started hitting their shots. And uh, they're, 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 they've been able to run the past few possessions, especially in transition. Even if they've not been able to convert, they've, uh, they've sped up the game a lot more compared to that first quarter. So you're looking at Sandy. For Nyman at the line. 6'3, 150 pounds, a string bean of a player. Had nine points last week in that win. Their first win ever against Formosa. So one of two there. 34 29, a timeout by, well, no, let's see. Substitution instead for Singapore. Larry Liu checking back into the game, number 11. Checking into the game, number 8. I mean, that is uh, Anak Wisnu, yep. Murrah Wisnu, 5'11 guard. Inside to Wright. Wright has been the invisible man lately. Let's see if he can do something here. Kick back outside. Delvin Go. Liu now, left hand dribble. Go. Trying to go baseline and a foul there. And that will go on number 24, Mohamed Soroni. And you notice that the CLS Knights have dropped to a bit of a zone here and uh, forcing Singapore to really beat them from the outside, something that uh, chi the China team, Chong Son Kung Fu, did to them in their last outing. Singapore, of course, had the hot hand early on. They have not been so hot lately. They have been stuck on 29 for a long time. Ong now, he has one three to his credit. Alexander now downstairs to Russell Lowe. He's checking him in a hard push, but... No foul. So one and out again for Singapore. Fans starting to get a little bit rested here at the OCBC Arena. Good crowd on hand for the first home game for the Slingers. Williams, low, overcomes Alexander inside. Knocked away, good play by Delvin Go again, reaching in the passing lane, but the ball last touched by who? Going to be a foul on number 27. Got to be careful with that. The back door cut from the weak side. Uh, Singapore escaped, dodging a bullet there. Down the other way it goes. So Wright, who had 26 in the game last week, four. Alexander leading all scorers with 10 points, at least on the Singapore side. Williams leading all scorers with 11. Good shot of Russell Lowe here at the line for his fourth time. Has made two free throws so far, so he's two out of six in the stripe. So a couple free throws here, a stop, and... Hopefully Singapore, if you're a Singapore fan, hope to get the ball back and get it up at least at level terms. A lot of time left, 37.6 here. Coach Neo. And a crowd of about 2,500 here looking on. Gets them both. And I think he's going to stop here. Chuck Ball's going to go back to Singapore to have the last say here in the first half. Mario. Inside, rotation to the left. Sandy again lines up a three, no good. Right with the board, outlet into the hands of Alexander momentarily. Right swings it over to Arm from three. Yeah! No, off the mark, excuse me. So the Knights a chance to get last shot. 
And an offensive foul. Nice job by Alexander to get back, plant his foot on the baseline, boom. Getting it squarely there in the midsection. That's a clear offensive foul there. The Watch Alexander Cerrone. from the weak side. Similar to what Williams did a little bit earlier, if you remember. It's a chance for Singapore here to have uh, to close the first half on a positive note, possibly even tie the game at 34. So they led by two times, in fact, by as many as eight points, not able to maintain that each time. Indonesia coming back once, doing it via getting the ball to their big men to rotate the ball inside. But the second time, no surprise, finally hitting some of their outside shots, led by Lish for a period. Alexander, the backup jumper, is going to be off the mark. The tip is no good. One second to go, and that will do it. So the Knights... Hold on, they will take a 34-31 lead into the dressing room here at the OTBC Center. That'll do it, first half action. We'll be back for second half action in a little bit. Yeah, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, the Lion City of Singapore on a lovely Sunday afternoon and a pretty cloudy weather here. If you're a Slingers fan, down by three points. It could have been a lot worse. The Slingers trail at the end of halftime, 34-31, as we look at our usual highlight package here at the OCBC Arena, the CLS Knights and the Singapore Slingers. Started well for the Knights, rotating to the basket. Nice inside move. Quick 2-0 lead. Goldstein on the baseline. 
The X-Man finding right underneath, staying with the play, getting behind the defense. Two of his four points that he would end up with in the first half. Good ball rotation by the Singers. Ball in the hands now of Alexander. Bounce pass inside. Oh, yes. Russell low downstairs. Puts the ball on the floor once and then up off the glass for two of his four points. Singapore taking the ball away that time. Alexander, long pass on the right-hand side. A little catch and shoot if you're not going to come out on me. On Han Bin with three points. Singapore in control at the moment. Has the ball down on the low block. Russell low, the little sky. Inside, kick back outside to Larry Liu. Gratefully accepts that and up with the three. So at this point, Singapore up by six points and a timeout being called by Indonesia inside. Ball kicked off. Rotation to that right side. Sandy with a long three and finally getting Ager at the CLS night. Misfired five straight times from beyond the arc, getting things pumped up a little bit. Inside again, off the mark. Singapore does a good job on the interior, converging on the ball. Alexander rolling to the basket. Little Nike run by him, finding the space in between two defenders. Delvin Go, his second pick of the night. Inside, takes the ball through the house. Marshaled on by Wright. Singapore up by seven at this point. Now then, as is his habit, Freddie Lish hitting a three, his first three, and off the break again. Indonesia on a little 12 0 mini run. Sandy lining up another three. So Indonesia up by three at the end of the first half. Another play, Brock over in the corner. Ball is off the mark to follow by Brock. So three point game at the end of the halftime in favor of the. CLS Knights. So, Marco, uh, Singapore at first doing everything they can do, hitting their shot from outside. And we said right at the beginning, you know, they're 0 5. This can't go on forever. forever. Um, the Knights are a much better shooting team than this. And then finally, stri uh, striking pay dirt. Freddie Lish was out amazing there for about a three minute period. And that is correct, Chuck. And you know, once, uh, Sing once Indonesia was able to get the pace that they wanted, able to force some turnovers, get easy baskets in transition, especially those uh, back to back three point shots from Sandy Kunal, they you saw that they got the rhythm uh, to their game and they were able to overcome that deficit in that first half. Now, you made the comment that uh, Indonesia went back into a zone that did have a good effect on Singapore. Singapore knocking down shots at that point, but they were forced a little bit further away from the basket. The shots began not to fall for them. And you can expect Indonesia to stick to that zone because they saw that uh, it's been working for them here in that uh, first half. And it, it's going to be uh, uh, upon Singapore to really try to connect from the outside and force them out of it. Okay, we've got a little package together for the X-Man, Xavier Alexander, and his years with the Singapore Slingers. Enjoy. The whole reason behind me playing basketball, uh, it just started early. Um, my dad, my older brothers, um, they all played basketball and were successful. And I just kind of followed suit and uh, fell in love with it early. They taught me a lot of things um, at an early age that they were learning at the college level and as I got into high school, the professional level. So it always kept me a step ahead. I always played with a lot of older guys when I was younger. You know, the high school and college level, I always played with professionals and stuff of that matter. So uh, that's where I wanted to be. So those are the people that I competed against. For one, I love it here. Um, I love the way the people treat me. Over here, it's kind of, uh, you know, they expect more from you on the team and, and expect more from you as a leader. Being in my third season, uh, those guys are like my brothers. You know, I've, I've been to war so many times with them um, on the court that uh, now it's second nature to us. They know what I expect from them, and um, I know what they expect from me, and um, we go about it as, as such. X has been here for three years now, so we are really used to him. We play well with each other. We know his tendencies, so it's a good continuation. He's a great leader of the team, man. I think the team has uh, experienced a lot of success because of him. Given his skill set and uh, his personality, he's not selfish in the team, and he helps make everyone look better as well. We bring that American 
um, U.S. style of basketball. They need to adjust and the, the pace is different. The game might be faster for us to be there. Um, I think it elevates the game immediately. It's been two great runs. Uh, looking to have another another third run. We want to win, you know, that for not only ourselves but for you know Singapore as a whole. Marco Benitez, Chuck Schwarn, and Marco, it's hard to quantify what uh, the X-Man Xavier Alexander has meant to the Slingers the last three years. So what have been your observations through well, the years? Well, he's pretty much been the most versatile player on this squad right now this season without uh, Justin Howard. He's really going to have a more critical role, not only as a scorer, but also as a leader. And he's really, without his uh, former running mate, he's really going to have to dictate to where, where the Singapore Slinger squad is going to go. Now, going forward, as you said, without Justin Howard, he has to be so eclectic in the in the in the areas that he serves outside, inside, mid range. And uh, you think that might at times be a little bit too much for him? Well, uh, I think uh, Xavier Alexander the past couple of games has been aggressive enough and shown confidence that he can step up to that type of role. And it's just a matter of uh, just uh, making his baskets and being more consistent with that and uh, really getting to the flow of the offense. 34-31 in favor of the Knights at halftime. We'll be back in just a moment for third quarter action here at the OCBC Arena. Come right back.
Lion City of Singapore, site of the game that we're showing you today, the CLS Knights with a slim 34-31 lead over the Singapore Slingers. Marco Benitez and Chuck Schreiner in that first half. Marco, seven turnovers for Indonesia, four for Singapore. Shooting percentage sort of got turned on its edge as we look at X-Man right there. We did a feature on him, 39% and change for the Knights, 33 and a third percent for Singapore. They started to warm it up, the Knights did from beyond the arc. Three of 11, still not great, but 27.3, playing 1.6 and 16.7. And you were saying, Marco, uh, during the the break that Singapore needs to find that consistency from outside the perimeter. Uh, that is correct and uh, you see from the stats they've only taken six attempts uh, knowing that that's not their strength only connected on one. Meanwhile for the CLS Knights they've gotten their running game going. We started out the second quarter no fast break points for Indonesia in that second quarter alone 11 fast break points for the guys in uh, in purple and uh, gray or purple and gold and that has been their game so far this season and look look for them to try to exploit that here against Singapore. Okay, Singapore inbound from the near side. Larry Liu sticking in the game is A.J. Mondani. He had his moments in the first half. We'll see if he can shake off a little bit of rust and lead this Singapore team here in a packed house here at the OCBC Arena. First home game of the year for the Slingers of the 2017-18 ABL season. So happy you could join us and sit back and enjoy the second half of basketball here. X-Man going at you. Singapore in white. Rotates the ball down to Mondani. Mondani goes to the right hand, gets away from one screen, holds it back up. Russell low in the game. He'll take that shot. It'll be off the mark. Sky enough to try and get the rebound is right. Can't get it. One and out. Brock the left hand throw. Sloppy pass by him. Mondani, the little runner in the lane, no good. X-Man right there to clean it up for two. Good job there, the part of Xavier Alexander not giving up on the play, but credit half that basket to Larry Liu for intercepting that pass. Evan Brock with a very sloppy pass, trying to get over the top of the defenders, not near enough. Williams loses the ball, stepping in the lane to get it. Pass was behind the offensive player, and another turnover there, this time by Singapore. Picking it off is one song. Song and inside hesitation move is good for Lish. Another quick basket in transition. That is the Freddie Lish specialty. So back up to a three-point lead. Russell Lowe controlling the ball at the top. Alexander, high block. He will bust out. Mondani, right for two. No, yes, uh, got the shooter throw there. Enough top spin to carry it forward. Up and in it goes. So six points now for Wright. He had 26 last mm -hmm. week against China. So one point game. That is really more of Wright's game than a 15 foot jumper. Let's see if they try to exploit that. Double team and somebody's got to be open. Let's see the kickoff to the left hand side. The left hander fires it up. No good in the lane. Fortuitous bounce there. Lish inside. Blocked away. Get it out of here. Says Russell Lowe. Solid minutes so far for Russell Lowe. Getting those offensive rebounds. That time the block and also scoring from the free throw line. Watch it again. Nice job by Lowe reaching over the top. And somehow getting away, shedding the defender has brought that long first step. Something Russell Lowe has not found the answer to that matchup against Evan Brock. Alexander, Liu will rotate through. Alexander with the left hand inside the lane. Oh yeah, the little runner floater. Alexander showing us a different look, this time attacking from the outside. Probably the most athletic of all the world imports and on the floor tonight. And Brock goes at it again. So that's not the shot you want him taking. And you can tell by the blinking reaction there of Coach Coco, he agrees. So one point lead here by the Knights. He said they led by three. Low to Liu. Liu with the right hand. Alexander camped out on the low post there. Is tripped up as he goes inside. Freddie Lish will get the foul. For Lish, that will be three on him. If it is, in fact, on him. That's a good job there on the part of Xavier Alexander. Instead of pulling the dribble out of the double team, it says one dribble pullback and then attacking that double team from Brock. That was on Brock, and the shot is good. So one point lead now by the Slingers. Back to work, Golden Knights off the dribble. Lish with the ball, has separation. 
Double team comes up. Now Alexander is with him. Inside Williams, bounce pass, almost throws it away. In fact, steps on the line, so turnover there. Sloppy play coming off of uh, the half by the CLS Knights. That's twice they've turned yep. it over. And you can see Brian Williams not really in his comfort zone playing outside that uh, shaded area. So good, good tactic employed by the Slingers. Nine turnovers now for the Knights. Four for the Slinger, five actually. They've got a turnover too. Liu looking downstairs. Lish, he's got the mismatch Alexander does. He kicks it back out around the horn. It goes left side. Back outside, right from the free throw line. Back up jumper, no good. Oh my goodness, giving up the inside. And Alexander just couldn't believe it. I think that was part up. The foul will go on Williams. Leash, in fact, that would be three on Leash. So, danger time a little bit for the CLS Knights. They can hardly afford to lose their floor leader. So, Alexander will be at the line for a pair. That's good development here for the Singapore Slingers. Let's see if they try to continue to attack Freddie Leash on the post, especially against Alexander. So, meanwhile, Wright having his problems from the printer. He's got eight points, but four of those from the line. Very pensive looking coach Neo is the X-Man. Join his third year here in Singapore. 0 for 1 and not enjoying himself at the free throw line today mm -hmm. at all. He has not been able to get anything going. In fact, both of these teams at the end of the half, Slingers were shooting a paltry 37.5% Marco from the line. And the Indonesia not much better, 45 and a half. And that's really not going to cut it out here if, if you're a Singapore, especially as we go through the, uh, the long season, especially as you play the tougher teams. As we know it's all about consistency. 20 game schedule. Singapore wants to control their home. Mismatch inside. Let's see what they can do with it. Turns, fires, got it. No, not that goaltending. That will be on the X Man. So right against Williams. Williams taking advantage. Little sky hook. And immediately when you saw that Williams got that post position, more effective down low. Right is 6'9, but uh, he doesn't play like 6'9, and that's not a knock on him. That's just not his game. Kick back outside. Russell Lowe, wide open look. Fires. Yes. Yeah. That's going to keep Brian Williams more honest on defense and hopefully open up that post up spot for Xavier Alexander. So two point lead. Head down. Going from A to B is Mario. Mario long three from outside. No good. Offensive board knocked away. Good active hands there by Alexander putting his paws in the lane. There's going to be 13 seconds left on the shot clock here for the CLS Knights. So inbounded from the baseline, long pass back outside. Running it down is Brock Evans now, and immediately being converged on by Larry Liu. So good hands in there. It'll still be Indonesia ball. Six seconds now. Inbounding it will be Woi Song. Williams, right, turns, fires off, balance, looking shot, stepping yeah. in the lane. Nice rebound there, A.J. Mondani. And that's a shot you can live with if you're Ryan Wright. Mondani started to accelerate, holds it up, gets the ball into the hands of Alexander. He'll bring it back outside, get the ball in the hands of Russell Lowe. You at the top. Flashing through is Alexander getting started for Wright. And that's what Wright can do. That is his game in a nutshell. And that is because Avery Alexander drawing the double team in the post. Backup jumper by Brock is good. So answering very quickly from outside, right around the free throw area. They're going to have to do a better job being more consistent on the defensive and in transition as well. Low, he'll take that shot if you give it to him and drain it. And the bigs of Indonesia continuing to give Russell Low that 15 footer. So 10 now, he's in double figures. Brock again, he's on low, goes to the right hand, nowhere to go, back to Williams. Sandy in traffic, holds it up, Williams, still Williams, quick pass inside, nice job getting the round of defense. And a little bit of ball watching there by Singapore, they pay the price, great job by Brock to find Williams behind the defense. That's a great high-low play there coming from Indonesia. 
and cannot give up uh, that possession. Like you said, ball watching there from Singapore. Well, Wright really the villain that time, not falling back on his man, and really Alexander coming over from the weak side, but he's got three fouls now. Timeout on the floor by Singapore, 46-44. We've got a good one here at OCBC Arena. As Coach Coco wants to talk it over, and Singapore's timeout, I believe, so it would be a one-minute timeout. So, Coach Coco, what, what would he be saying in the uh, color right now? Well, I, think, I think they're going to have to do a better job defending Xavier Alexander. You see Singapore getting easy baskets once Alexander is on the post. Let's see if they try to change or give a different look on that double team, whether to send it early or hang back a little more. But for Singapore, you're going to have to be more consistent, especially for, uh, for an entire possession until you get the defensive rebound. Meanwhile, Russell Lowe open all the time. They're going to have to decide Indonesia if they're going to put a man out there on him or not. Well, so far, Russell Lowe has made them pay, giving the Slingers a 46 to 44 advantage here in the third quarter. Williams leading the way for Indonesia with 13 points. Or check that Brock with 14, Williams with 13. We would have expected that. What we wouldn't expect on the other side of the ball, Russell Lowe, 10 points. Wright with 10. Alexander with 15. So getting a whole lot of contributions from three guys. They're going to have to divvy up the scoring a little bit more, especially from the perimeter of Singapore is going to hang with a very, very tough Knights team who have a plethora of weapons, especially on the inside. So we'll see how it goes here in the second half, third quarter action here. Marco Benitez, Chuck Schreiner, ABL. Inaugural game for the Singapore Singers. Great looking crowd on hand here at the OCBC Arena. Singapore at 0-1, the Knights at 1-0 with their defeat of Formosa on the 18th of November. Slinger is going down to defeat big time, 83-59 to China. And that was on the 17th of November. And Chuck, as you talked about on the tournament format, uh, since these two teams are in the same group, this is going to be the first of four meetings between Singapore and uh, Indonesia. So there's not going to be much mystery between these two by the time they play each other four times. Liu. Singapore had to set up very high on their offense inside. Oh, finding low again, this time from the left side, off the mark, Skyen and getting the rebound, long wingspan is Brock again. Hesitation dribble, still Brock, goes to the right hand, drops it, ball kicked away, and out of bounds it goes. Liu had it momentarily, took his eyes off of it. Brave try there by AJ to try and save it to no avail. So Knights will have it on the far sidelines. There's Brock again. Watch this. And the problem went is when he went to his right hand. Mm -hmm. So there's the ball on the floor. So the Knights with 15 left on the shot clock. Williams likes that matchup against Wright. Bumping and grinding. Inside look and last touch by Alexander. Closing down the lines. And smart play there by Lisha to try and sneak in back door. That is correct, but you know, for, for Ryan Wright, as long as he can keep Brian Williams outside uh, outside 10 feet from the basket, probably 50% of the battle right there. Inside, he misses the easy shot, stepping in the lane, ball pumped over to Russell Lowe, he'll come up with it. Lead pass, for you now. Has to give the ball up and uh, had the shot changed. Leash going to the house to finish. And you cannot afford to make those unforced turnovers against a running team like CLS. You can see Lou was in two minds whether to pass the ball and shoot yeah. the ball. As a result, he did none of the above. So Lou on the baseline will circle around. Alexander tie game at 46 inside the lane and throwing the ball away again. So two straight turnovers for the Slingers. Alexander miscommunication with Lowe. He was expecting Russell to cut towards the basket, not away from it. Yeah, that's correct. And as Alexander was trying to get to work, uh, Russell Lowe in his way. Tried to get the ball back to Lish, but X-Man was right there. Double team, somebody's got to be open. Turns, fires off balance shot, way off the mark. But stepping in the lane is Williams. Williams, one hand, push shot is off the mark. Nice hustle underneath by Indonesia, but it will be Singapore ball. Brian Williams asking for the foul, but referee's not giving that to him. So good stop here for Singapore. Try to get back that lead. Great interior defense there by the men in white. So checking out the game, A.J. Mondani checking in the game. Russell Go also going out of the game. 
Russell Lowe, excuse me, leaves. Delvin Go checks in. So the rotation cat and mouse game continuing with both these coaches trying to get some fresh legs in here. A long way to go here. 322 to go here in the third quarter in a 46-46 game and a game that is coming off as advertised. Down low was the X-Man. Thought he had a step. You there to sweep it up. Delvin Go on step up jumper. Off the mark, stepping in and getting it is Williams. And slowly but surely, Marco, uh, Indonesia starting to assert themselves on the boards. And you can't tell. Because the Singapore has had those open looks. And there, another example of it right there down low. Williams, there's just nobody with enough beef to do that. But they can do that. Right getting ahead of the defenders. Pass one, over the top. There's one thing right is good at. It's running the floor in transition. Williams. Getting the ball off to Wisnu, who has checked into the game for the Knights. Brock gives it off to Williams, and up and down, and what is that? Do we have a foul on who? If it's Alexander, that's four on him. There'll be three on him. So 48 apiece. It looks like they gave the foul to Delvin Go and Brian Williams. The moment he saw he had Delvin Go on him, immediately going to work in the post. Yeah, that's what he did so well at the beginning of the game. We remember back in the first quarter, victimizing Go three or four mm -hmm. separate times and coming in with six easy points to start the game off. Well, in Indonesia arguing here because they thought uh, it was an uh, he was it was an act of shooting, but the referees is going to make it a baseline inbound. Coach Coco progressively getting more animated as the game goes on. So checking it in will be Mario Wusong. Lish on the bench now at the moment. Baseline, nowhere to go. Alexander active with the hands. Brock inside. No foul. Outlet pass. Liu. Alexander in the lane for the finish. And you see two world imports of Singapore running downhill. No world imports of CLS getting back on defense. Well, that's that's what the coaching staff drew up when they got right. This is the strength of their game, especially with the X-Men. This is exactly the reason they brought it back for a third year. As you mentioned, perhaps, perhaps, I'm not saying we haven't seen all these, but perhaps the most athletic player in the league if, in terms of the open court. Mm -hmm. And there is very little Mario Ruiz san can do against a running Xavier Alexander. So two-point lead, long lead pass in the lane. They'll have to back it up again, wait for numbers. Williams rotating down on the low block. They'll try and get him the ball. Alexander on the opposite side. Let's see if he comes over for the weak side help. Back outside. Now the hands of Brock. Brock back up. Jumper. Good. That'll tie to 50. Brock getting very, very good at that shot there. The little 16-footer. And understandably, that's the shot Delvin Go is giving him rather than that penetration. Go to Ung, who has checked into the game. A crowd downstairs. Out pops Liu. Now right looking for movement. Wright will take it home himself off balance shot, won't get the roll. Back in the hands, Wright is fouled, and that will go on Williams, I believe. I thought that was a four shot there on the part of Ryan Wright, but uh, Xavier Alexander keeping that ball alive. There is Wright. Yes, it was off balance. And really heard the footsteps of Williams, and that sort of changed his shot. So Wright will go to the line. That will stop the clock. 50-50 here, 125 to go here in the third quarter. So three fouls on Williams, and the travails of the free throw shooting for both these teams continue. Ryan Wright has yet to make a free throw, zero out of four man, so oh far. Uh, you lose a point, a game by a point or two, and you know exactly where to point your fingers. So one of five now, Singapore with a sliver of a lead. Back comes Mario Wosong, barking signals. He's got Williams rotating down to the low post. Go, back up jumper again, rock all day long. And let's see if Devin Go starts making an adjustment. That's the second time back to back that he's given Brock that open shot. Shades of what Russell Lowe was doing a little bit earlier. They finally put a defender out on him. Ung now off the break, looking downstairs, holding on Xavier Alexander. 
So they keep rotating players, uh, Marco, on to Alexander. That time, Caleb Gimelong. He really hasn't made an impact tonight, but boy, was he sensational against Formosa. That is correct. 14 points off the bench for Gimelong, but he has faced the challenge of uh, trying to guard Xavier Alexander. And you're right, Chuck, they've thrown many faces against Alexander, and uh, he's really made them pay. So the question is, down the stretch, who's going to make the free throws if the... Uh, this is going to be the way they play. Alexander, no doubt, will have his chances. It's the first of two, so that will tie it up. He Biggest lead of the game, eight by Singapore on two separate occasions. Uh, the Knights have led by as many as five. And Alexander, three out of six from the free throw stripe so far. And one of two, so it continues. Brock down that right-hand side, switching to the left hand, accelerates inside the lane, foul and one, count it. And there you see Delvin go really with no chance against uh, Evan Brock going downhill. We see Delvin go all the time. Now, he, ha he is a very, very much improved player, no doubt about that. But you watch defensively how he's back on his heels time and time again, and that time just the blow-by that time by Brock. And you wouldn't expect a guy with the size of Brock to be able to do that to anybody, but there you go. Delvin Go is the exception in the league where he can do things like that to him. So 55-52, the Knights by three. Looking downstairs again to Alexander. He has been the danger man tonight for the Slingers. Lurking around is Brock. And nice move that time by Delvin Go. The tip back in by Brock. I'm not so sure it needed it. The 55-54. Good recognition there on the part of Xavier Alexander. The man of uh, Delvin Go was the one helping out against Alexander. So one of these plays that won't show up in the scorebook, but really that was created by the X-Man. Kick back outside again. Long three is good. Caleb Ganelon coming and giving something to the party. Three seconds to go, and out of bounds it goes. It'll be controlled by Singapore. One point four, so catch and shoot opportunity for the Slingers to end it here in the third quarter. Nice led by three. They've stretched it one point further. And what a fourth quarter we're going to have here from the OCBC Arena. Alexander to inbound from the baseline. See if they can get a shot off. Him along. We'll guard the inbounds. Looking for right. High inbounds pass, push shot, and good! Oh my goodness! 58-56. As you say, uh, Marco, just what the doctor ordered, the Slingers at the stroke of midnight get the two back, they trail by two. Uh, Alexander and Ryan Wright making something out of almost nothing there. Almost a five second violation on the inbounds, but what a shot there from Ryan Wright. Okay, that'll wrap it out here. The time is gone in the third quarter. What a fourth quarter we have in store for the OGBC Arena. The Knights by two when we return for fourth quarter action. All right, Jack If you make this shot, you in the bottom of the premium pick line worth $688. Go on, Drake, give it a shot. Go on, I'm going to short. You have two chances to have three more line. If you make this pass, you will win three bottles of pick line. A king, a mechanic, a humble worth of $200. So right off of the uh, prompting, let's say, by Xavier Alexander, again, Marco, another one of these uh, plays, as you said, almost a five-second violation, getting the ball into the hands of the man that they needed to, and right doing the rest of the move up in the air, but uh, my goodness, Xavier uh, supplying the ball right where it needed to be. Well, remember, Wright had only on four points in that first half now already with 15 points, so that's about 11 points in that third quarter, so continuing to prove his worth here for Coach Neo Beng Shan. Other side of the ball, number two, uh, Evan Brock, getting it done for the guys in blue. 21 points for him. He's got three fouls. That'll be 
worth watching. Also, Gemelong in limited time with three fouls. Also, Leash with three fouls. So, he is in the game now. So, third quarter, turnovers, 10 for the Knights, seven for the Slingers. So, Slingers doing a better job of taking care of the ball and right ripping down a board to start off here. Alexander pushing it. And he's got Mondani to the right. Oh, no, yes, and that's exactly what they needed to do. That's a great shot there on the part of Mondani. Great shot there by Alexander, finding him in transition, in rhythm. Mondani, the veteran, bearing his second J of the night. Pass downstairs to Williams. Gets to the baseline in time. Now looking for help. Brock off the dribble. Silly looking shot that time by Brock. He didn't need to do that. And back comes Mondani and company. Getting the ball in the hands of Liu. Liu thought about downstairs to Alexander. Alexander going to punch in the air. Yeah. Later by a man. Good find there from Larry Liu. Miscommunication on defense from the CLS Knights. So right away, the three, a two point lead uh, turns, a four point turnaround. Singapore, a little four nothing mini run. Lish will accept the screen by Williams. Back in the hands of Williams. Right hand. Slugging the lane. The ball on the floor picked up by who else? Mondani. Lead pass. Um, will stop and fire for two. And immediately you see the confidence of Unconfident shooting that jump shot in transition. So copying the ball up inside the paint, active hands inside the passing lanes for the Singapore Slingers, resulting in six points. There's a confident stroke right there. Four point lead for Singapore. Another look at it. Mandani, nice little pass across his body. So Mandani can continue to do that, orchestrate in the break. Quick 6 to 0 last year from Singapore to start the fourth. Well, when you get a guy like Mondani, who obviously has been tried and tested in the open court, you can see exactly why they got it for situations just like that. Uh, what we don't know about Mondani, how do you do in the open court offense? You see how, how good, that was a great pass across his body right there. So, no doubt of the job that he can do in the open court. Can he run the team in the half court? That's, well, that's what we don't know. For Mondani, he's not really expected to score a lot. As long as he can consistently hit those kickout passes, make those jump shots off the kickout from a Xavier Alexander, and I think he's going to be okay for the Singapore Slingers. Helping a lot in those first uh, almost two minutes, getting a bucket and an assist. So very active as we look at Gamelon there, number 13, and Ung, who also hit a big bucket there. So Singapore 62, the Knights 58. Lish. Working against Mondani now. Blows past him. High off the glass, yes. 13 points in the ballgame for Freddie Lish. Just three players in double figures for the Knights. So beating his man off the dribble that time. Alexander to right. Rotates the ball to Liu. Alexander back to the low post. Or just off the low post. Inside Madani. A little bit too rushed on that shot. He had a little bit more time. He had. His defender on the interior wrong-footed already, but uh, he'd already committed himself to the shot and way off the mark, so turn over there. Lish again, left hand, feeds the ball to who else? Brock. Brock goes to the left hand, way off balance shot. Nice defense there by Alexander. Exactly correct. Good job challenging that shot. Quick rotation. Liu on the right side. In and out it goes. Ball on the floor. Let's see who comes up with it. Alternating possessions. Let's see which way it will go. Indonesia, maybe. Well, let's see. Well, was that a foul? Watch it again. A scrum on the floor for the ball. There's the initial shot. Liu. Unlucky with that. Nice hustle by Ung on the floor. He seems to have possession now. They're reaching. You can make a case for a foul on Brock. I don't think it's going to go that way. That's great so, effort there on the part of Ang, get, buying them a second chance opportunity. So Singapore on the alternating possessions will have the ball on the baseline. Alexander to inbound it. Catch and shoot by Liu. Off the mark. So a couple of times he was victimized by a tight rim. Tough misses there for Liu. Had a lid on it. Brock, left hand, popped the ball up. Punched away by who else? Alexander from behind. Down the court. Liu almost walked with the ball. Kick back outside, Mandani for three, no good. Sky up, right, no good. Into the hands of Lou, no good. Lou with the own rebound, he'll kick it back outside again, Mandani. 
Inside, back, goal! And that is the role that Daddy needs to play. Settle his offense, find his open cutter. That time, Xavier Alexander, backdoor cut for the easy jam. Well, we were asking questions about Donnie. We know his talent in the open court. Can he do it in the half court set? He answered some questions right there. Skip pass right through the middle. And uh, Indonesian defense got caught ball watching, got sucked up into the action, and easy as you please, the X-Men going back door. Momentum so far going the way this time of Singapore. So full court pressure going to be applied. A modicum of full court pressure anyway. Singapore a habit of doing that. So checking it in will be Wusong. And Chuck, one thing that uh, Singapore has done well is they've limited the scoring of the locals of Indonesia. Good point. Lish off the dribble, accepts the screen, now being doubled. Brock, Williams, Lish, Lane. Back outside again, Brock, oh, could have walked with it there. Williams now has a mismatch with Wright, kicks it back outside, Wright. Pump fake, shot, short, stepping in the lane, on. Alexander now, left side, he has right ahead of him at the low post. And what do we have here? Offensive foul. So Alexander with his third foul. Tough call there on the part of the referee. Looked like Freddie Lish was still moving his feet. Get another look at it, I'm sure. Refereeing so far in this game has been pretty spot on. Let's watch it again. There's Alexander Lish. Well, a little bit of acting job that time. Uh, call could have gone either way. So three fouls on the X-Man. 6.35. It's been a good one here at the OCBC Arena. Marco Benitez, Chuck Schreiner with you on the call. So happy you can spend part of your Sunday afternoon. Opening game for 2017-18 season for the Slingers at home. Lost the game on the road. The Knights 1-0. Wu Song off the dribble. Finds the screen. Williams didn't spot him. Off the dribble again. Spin move. Brock. That's his spot. This time they've rotated Alexander on him, however. Now standing around. Brock trying to be acting and do something. The ball's on the floor. Picked up by Liu. Ball in the hands of Alexander. Another turnover. Other side. Madani with the three. Off the mark. Followed by Wright is no good. Alexander chases it down. He's got a wide open look. That's a two that time. Here will drain it. 66-60. Singapore by six. 8-0 mini run by them to start the fourth quarter, under six minutes to go. Alexander had the open three, but made the right decision, going for the higher person that shot that time. Stutter step, move inside, nothing on that low block. Way off the mark that time, and a little bit of wariness, it looks like, in the steps. Alexander busting through two defenders, takes the ball to the house! And again, nobody can stop Xavier Alexander in transition on the open floor. In Indonesia, standing around on defense. Long three by Leach is good. Just what they needed, and that will stop the crowd uh, from leaving their seats for a little bit. He has a habit of doing things yep. like that. That's a big shot, stopping the bleeding there for Indonesia. Liu with the ball now, right on the high block. Ong rotates down. Alexander working on Brock. Long cross court pass. Mondini finally gets the ball over. To on back up jumper by Wright is good. And Wright does not have to dominate the game. He just has to be consistent with those mid-range jumpers and those offensive rebounds. Exactly. Play within himself. Full head of steam into the lane. Ung will be whistled that time. Trying to stop the dribble. Doing the right thing, but it'll cost him a foul. So let's check and uh, see. The Alexander baskets a little bit earlier on. The X-Man there, and look, nobody coming out on. He'll step up, higher percentage shot, as Marco was saying, and buries that. Now down the other end, gets a step, the little blow by, and finishes with the two. Alexander, 26, leads all scorers. And he knows that he can beat the world imports of Indonesia off the dribble in transition. So far, this is, I think this has tied the biggest lead of the Slingers at seven. Well, one variable we haven't talked about, those uh, those bigs from Indonesia have been on the floor a long, long time. Oh, yes. Practically the entire ball game, except for Brian Williams, who was in foul trouble in the first quarter. 
Coach Coco knows there's plenty of time left. Six-point game for the Slingers. We've got a little bit of momentum now. Alexander, baseline, and a whistle weighs it off. The foul will go. Well, wait, did he step on the baseline? No, they're pointing to the spot, so a foul on Williams. That will be four on him if that's right. So Williams, that's just a tire foul. That's a big development here for Indonesia. Fourth personal foul. Let's see if Singapore tries to take advantage. Well, they go straight at Williams, in other words, to try and force that fifth foul. And Williams dragging visibly a little bit here. Mondani sure picked up his game in the fourth quarter. The pass off to right, rotated over to Alexander on the left side. Long cross-court pass on, left-hand dribble in the lane, back up, jumper, and good! And what a time for Singapore to start clicking from the outside. Eight-point lead matches their biggest lead of the afternoon. Mario almost has his pocket pick. Williams, still Williams, losing the ball, and another turnover, wow! And that time, credit that turnover to A.J. Mandani, getting his hand in there for the deflection. So, at the four-minute mark, plenty of time left for Indonesia to recover, but Singapore spreading out the offense now. A little bit more deliberate. Really performing in their half-court set. Here's Alexander on the reverse, off the mark. Right there to clean it up is Wright. And that's one thing Wright does well, always with a nose for the ball, getting that offensive rebound, cleaning that miss from Xavier Alexander. Lish working on number 12, Mondani. Out of traffic, splitting two defenders. Ball off the jump ball. That should go the way of Indonesia. As you remember, Singapore got the last one. So 74-64, a 10-point bulge now for the Slingers, Marco. And I'm sure Indonesia did not expect Singapore to explode like this. There's a great block there on the part of Wright. Didn't foul, was able to keep his body separate. Right now with 19 points along with those three fouls. So Williams, the only one in immediate foul trouble now with four. 3.28 to go and a timeout's going to be called by Singapore. So 3.28 to go. Marco Benitez and uh, Singapore really stepping on the gas. And in response, Knight's not showing a whole lot. Uh, that is correct, uh, Chuck. And, you know, Singapore, as what they have done last season, they're putting the clamps on defense, just six points for Indonesia here in the fourth quarter with about three and a half minutes remaining while uh, Singapore Slingers, I believe they already put up about 16 points here in the fourth. Star of the fourth quarter, of course, can't deny uh, Xavier Alexander, but what about the move to put uh, insert A.J. Mondani? He really changed the tempo of the game in a hurry. Uh, that is correct. Did not score a lot, but he found his open teammate, Xavier Alexander. Also have to give a lot of credit to Ryan Wright, and I think one of the guys who is unheralded Larry Yu playing great defense against Mario Wuisang has not allowed him to really create for his other teammates. Madani doing it in the open court and in the half court, so being the role player that they envisioned of him, there he is right there. The veteran of the PBA, he's been around the block and then some played with, I can't, don't have my papers not big enough to list the amount of teams that he's played on, uh, but he's been around the block. He knows he's been in this sort of situation many, many times, and uh, he's not the ty type of guy that's going to swallow the ball in a pressure that's pack correct. situation. He knows that when he comes into a system, he has a role to play, and right now playing it to the hilt. So Larry Liu also having a pretty good fourth quarter. Ball picked off. Oh, no, and given right back. Williams, easy two for him. No, he blows the triple, and a foul. Wow. Well, these are just tired, tired moves by this Indonesian team. They are being hounded on defense and showing on the offensive end. And that miss from Brian Williams, just a factor of frustration, of exhaustion there. Point black miss. Silly pass there also by Liu, so he dodges the bullet. So 317 with the 10 point lead. Singapore will be judicious in their ball control offense. Now, Alexander around the screen. Shot clock down to nine. Ung trapped over on the side. He gets out of it. Now he rolls to the basket over to Liu. Can't finish. Return is no good. Not out of bounds, or is it? Liu somehow comes up with it. Last touch, I believe, before that. So it'll be Singapore ball with Break. a fresh 14. My goodness. Hey, Chuck, break still going the way of Singapore. Unhan Bing had a wide open lane there. 
opting to drop it off to Larry Liu. Mondani, will this be the dagger? No, but right into the path of right. Under three minutes, right. Back up jumper, side punch up and in. And Brian Williams nowhere to be found on defense, picking up Xavier Alexander, who is out in the perimeter. So the Ellis Brock show and the Brian Williams show a no-show here in the fourth quarter. Lish trying to get something jump started, cannot. Singapore off on the run. Liu, he'll wait for traffic. Under two and a half to play here, and right being manhandled down on the low block there, and foul will go on number 24, Mohamed Saroni. That's easy call there on the part of the referee. Saroni preventing Ryan Wright to get post position. There it is right there, and... <laughs> Roney says, no, no, no. <laughs> Baseline, Alexander pops it out to Liu. He's got Mandani to the right. He'll slip over. Build up on the right-hand side for the slingers. Liu, Mandani into the hands of right, who wasn't expecting it. Long lead pass, should be a finish. No, Sandy will back it up again. Back up three is no good. And Indonesia cannot buy a basket, and that might put it to rest. And Coach Coco telling Sandy, go for the open layup in transition. Liu, Alexander now, 10 left on the shot clock, minute 42 on the game clock, long three. Back rim, Williams with the ball, still Williams, spin move. Hesitation shot in the middle, way off the mark that time, and Indonesia, I think it's truly been about three minutes since they scored, they lift. The last one to score, so a very, very tired and hassled CLS Knights team uh, who are really it's been a wear down job since the end of the third quarter. So timeout by Singapore. They lead 76 64, and uh, Marco, their game to lose. Well, uh, it, it's, it's been a signature Singapore Stringers basketball grinding out through three quarters and then the defense taking its toll on the part of the CLS Knights. Something probably wrong with Evan Brock because he's on the bench here in this crucial stretch in the fourth quarter. And that uh, transition fast break there really showing us the weakness of Brian Williams', Williams game. They do have the two big Americans who were a factor the first three quarters, but you can see fatigue really doing a number on them, just not having anything left in the tank in which to respond with. So when that happens, you don't have the, the defense not able to cover the shooters, and as a result, Singapore getting wide open shots and they're knocking them down. And that's correct. And one thing you like about Ryan Wright, uh, still looking fresh here deep into the fourth quarter, actually, Wright and Xavier Alexander is still crashing those boards, running in transition, and I think that has been one of the big differences here for Singapore. So Singapore will try and hold on for a minute, 29 seconds, and they will get their inaugural win out of the 217-218 season. And Lish, not a happy camper right now. And really, I thought you made a statement earlier on that rings true, uh, especially now as we look at uh, retrospectively at the game. The Singapore has done a great job defending the locals of Indonesia, That's who great. really bore a hole through Formosa last week. And you're right, Chuck, they have yet to score here. Only scored uh, six points in the fourth quarter, so terrific job defensively by Singapore. Alexander on the reverse, hopeful shot there. Williams will lead the break. Lish, no, check that, in the lane. And a foul on number 11, Larry Liu, from the weak side. So that will stop the clock at a minute 10. That's going to send, that's going to send Arif Hidayat to the free throw stripe has not really been a factor in this ball game. The coach talking to Alexander. He will be in charge of rallying the troops the last minute or two. Yeah, it's the first we've seen of Aratha Hidiat, I think. 5'10", guard, 157 pounds, 26 years of age. And for Singapore, you don't have to really do anything fancy here. Just uh, bring the ball, milk the shot clock, and uh, it's an 11 point, make a 10 point advantage. So just take care of the basketball, don't commit any turnovers. So Liu will inbound it. He's got Ung. Mondani to the right side. Alexander, of course, in the backcourt. They'll get the ball to him. 
full court pressure. They break that easy enough. You will probably back it up. We rotate down below a minute now. 14 on the shot clock. At what point does Lish and company decide to foul right? Almost loses it. Eight seconds on the shot clock. He's going to have to be creative now. Williams doing a good job staying with right. One second, fires up a wild shot off the mark right at the stroke of midnight. Under a minute to go, pushing it now quickly. Lish turns the corner. Active hands in the lane as usual for Singapore and a foul. And that's going to be an unsportsmanlike foul because he did not make a play on the ball. So things getting worse here for Indonesia. Two free throws plus ball possession, and that might just seal it for yeah. Singapore. 32.8 and a 10-point lead plus two trips at the line plus possession. Uh, I don't see any way back for the Knights who really, I, I thought when we were talking at halftime, I thought they would have the advantage. But what I didn't count on is uh, the fitness problems that Indonesia would have going down the stretch. Not in the sense that the guys aren't fit, but just asked to play, I think, too many minutes. Uh, that, I think that's that's been a big factor. You see here, uh, Evan Brock not playing in the last three minutes of the ball game. Brian Williams too tired to make those point blank range shots. And really also have to give a lot of credit to Singapore. Uh, played the tempo that they wanted to play. Xavier Alexander got out in the break. Ryan Wright as well crashed those boards. And just a good job overall on both ends from Singapore. Singapore able to force some turnovers. Active hands in the lanes, knocking down, swatting down shots, passes, whatever. And uh, Russell Lowe checking into the game. What a marvelous effort he's had today. Ten points. So Singapore, of course, they're going to miss a, you know, a, a guy like Howard. But uh, you look at their two bigs or two local bigs, and really 16 points and in between them about nine, ten boards. Mm -hmm. That's not too shabby. Good, as long as they can get consistent effort from Ryan Wright and of course the all-around game from Xavier Alexander it's really going to be a big positive for Singapore. So game a keep away at the moment and Liu says why not. Skies a shot back into the hands of Liu Loft out of bounds. So 13.6 and Singapore will rise to one and one. The CLS Knights will go home and lick their wounds. They will fall to one and one and I think what we're going to also see, also, Marco, is, and we mentioned it briefly before the game, is parity in this league. Mm -hmm. I mean, you may make a case that the two northern powers, the Chinese and the Hong Kong team, might uh, on paper have a lot of talent. Is that three misses, and that will do it. But uh, I think up and down this league, we're going to see parity, and that can be nothing but good for the ABL. Now that is correct, uh, Chuck. Uh, you know, for Singapore, this is just a great stepping so that they can use they're going to have a game in three days against ala filipinas in the ala filipinas home court so what a way to bounce back from that loss against the chong son kung fu basketball club well it wasn't easy it was anybody's game through about three quarters singapore going to work uh, on in transition uh, forcing some turnovers and just full of energy the x-man xavier alexander leading the way 27 points right his running mate with 21 russell low with 10 points on the other side of the ball 23 for brock 15 for williams but not a whole lot of anything else as the knights go down to an 11 point lead 77 66 the slingers get it done here at the ocbc arena to register their first uh, win of the season so the crowd that uh, braved the uh, little bit of a rain earlier are rewarded so the slingers uh are keeping their head above water. So the play of the game will be Xavier Alexander and what a game he did have. We said leading all scorers with 27. Coming off a so-so game up in China where he had only 14, but uh, seven rebounds and eight assists in that losing effort too. Backdoor Alexander with the slam in the Indonesian defense at that point, uh, a mere shadow of themselves of what they showed the first three quarters. Another look out, a little skip pass by Mondani. Great telepathy between those twos, and that's what you want. Maldani really showing himself here in the game for Singapore in a winning effort by 11 points. So that'll pretty much wrap it up here from the OCBC Arena, from the production staff. And for Marco Benitez, this is Chuck Schreiner. We'll be back on December 10th right here at the OCBC Arena. Final score once again, Singapore Singer 76, CLS Knight 66. Singers rise to one and one. The Knights fall to one and one. For everybody here, so long till next time. Goodbye.